We present an end-to-end -end system for accomplishing tasks with modular robots. This video contains footage of hardware and simulation experiments which demonstrate the capabilities of our system. We begin with the hardware experiments. In these scenarios, a cluster of s'mores modules is directed to clean the top of a table. First, the robot must move a waste bin to be near the table, and then the robot must climb up on the top of the table, explore the surface, and react appropriately to objects it encounters. The task of moving the waste bin near the table is complicated by the fact that the bin is supported by four legs and cannot be pushed by designs with a height of two modules or less. Fortunately, the swerved lifter design is perfect for the job. The robot waits until it senses the waste bin. Then, it lowers itself, drives under the bin, and carries it next to the table. After putting the box down, it uses the four modules at the ends of its legs as caster wheels to execute a swerve driving maneuver and travel to the edge of the table. With the waste bin in place, the cluster can clean the top of the table. The table is three module lengths high, so we need a configuration that can climb to the top. Snake 7 configuration uses its climb up behavior to lift its front two modules to the top of the table. Once there, the front module uses undock to disconnect from the rest of the body. It visits two regions and reacts to what it finds. When it senses a coffee mug, it backs up and spins in place to alert its owner that it should be removed. When it senses a piece of trash, it pushes it off the table. After exploring both locations, it returns to the body, docks, and the snake descends. The simulation examples illustrate how our mission planner selects configurations and behaviors to meet the requirements of a specified task. In the first scenario, the environment consists of a button, a lightweight block, a gap in the ground, and a ramp all in a straight line. Pushing the button causes the block to drop to the ground. The objective is to reach the top of the ramp. When the mission planner searches the library, it finds that a single configuration, the rolling loop, is capable of completing all three tasks, so it is selected to complete the entire mission. But what if we make the missions a little harder? In scenario two, the button is on the side of the map and floats at a height of four module lengths above the ground. The box is now heavy and the ramp has been replaced with stairs. No single configuration from the library has behaviors that can complete all three tasks. Instead, the mission planner finds three configurations that complete the tasks together. The backhoe has a large workspace and is able to reach up and push the button. It then reconfigures into the double driver, which can drive, turn, and push the heavy block. Once it crosses the bridge, the double driver reconfigures into the stair climber, which climbs the stairs. Note that for the purposes of this paper, we assume that one configuration can reconfigure into any other configuration, as long as the second does not have more modules than the first. Thank you for watching.